Last time on I'm Leaving You the Show. Okay, I don't get it. What actually happens here? Well, it's an it's an interview. It's an interview be- with a professional and and someone else, and they is very professional. Well, it, nothing happens. Welcome to another edition. I'm joined here by internet sensation D. H. Williams. D. H. Williams, I think one of your most famous lines out of all of your videos is, "Get out of my office." However. You're widely known for having popularized the word ding. Walk us through how you came up with that. The second most popular girl's name is Emma. A lot of people don't know this, but it's actually short for Emmett. Yes, I've heard of that. I don't know any women named Emmett, though. Well, hang in there. You might one day. Uh, okay. Reader's Digest suggests that Get Out of My Office may have completely changed the course of sketch comedy. How do you feel about having that sort of power under your belt? I'm sorry? D.H., the story of you inviting yourself to that film party as a bird. Can okay, I, get- I don't get it and I don't like it. Do you have anything else? Uh, what about, wasn't there a beer one? Well, I think you got I mean, that. We, yes, most we do have most of it. It's pretty well yep. established. Yeah, it's, right. yeah. it's almost it's almost there. Um, we have some. Where did that come from? Uh, bag, here. Did Slide that over here. Functional relapse architecture. Watch yourself. Sorry. That, um, it's, a, it's just a, a brewery, you know, a fictional brewery. There's a dog with a hat. There's a fire. Um, there's it's a tour. It's a tour video from a brewery. Colorful character. Yeah, just Well, here at Kung Brewing, it's a process picking the finest ingredients for Edie's pumpkin ale, and of course that starts with the finest pumpkins. Here's Daniel, one of our farmers, picking up, uh, looks like a nice ripe pumpkin for one of our cho- Oh, well, uh, okay, never mind. Well, I tell you what, let's dip over and see what Mr. Calhoun's doing over at the Piney Peck Farm in Colorado. Hello there, I'm Pete Calhoun, owner of Edie's Ale, Fine Pumpkin Ale. Just let that sink in for a second. Okay, Pete. Well, let's head over to our next stop here, High Point, North Carolina, at the Triad Farm. We're going to meet up with head grower Kirk Cable. Yeah, so we've got 80% of that one done and could Why probably finish. Why isn't it fin- finished? Well, there was trouble. There was some. Trouble. What kind of trouble? There was a mistake. All right, guys, <laughs> I'm trying really hard to give you a crash course while Niels is gone. In the real world, there is no pushing a hard deadline, okay? Unless somebody dies, there's just no excuse. Period. All right, I mean, I made Niels finish a proposal for me last year from his hospital bed after his appendix burst. That's just what you do when you're getting things done, okay? Yo! Yeah. Sorry. God. Okay. 
All right, you, lovely but lonely over there. What have you got? Anything? Uh, I just, uh, yeah, maybe just the, the one, the uh, women's help. Yeah. Um, we've got we've got sort of a running idea for well, that's better than nothing. Else. Come on, show me what you got. Uh, so in modern society, it's only an idea at this point, but it's it's really good. I'm sorry, did I call on you? Sorry. Alright. What is this? Can you just give me a brief rundown? Broadly, um, it's a it's a series of perspectives on the. Uh, Wait, sorry. Hang on a second. Um, Alan. Yeah. Can you run and check if the mail has arrived, hon? No, no mail today. Wait, what do you mean there's no mail today? It's a Tuesday. Not sure, it just didn't come. Didn't get it yesterday either. Oh. Actually, I, I think that I think the mailman is on vacation until Thursday. I don't think so, Blondie. Um, sorry, where were we? Um What we're aiming at with the with the sketch is it is kind of a uh, actually a Alan, can you just Please find out what the fuck is going on with the mail. Yeah, sure thing. Alright, sorry. Uh, easy, wall of hair. I'm listening. Uh, sorry. Alright, so, um, it's your so basic faux PSA about what? Sh sure, so, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's an incisive portrait of, of the modern American woman. It's, it's about women's health, but it's not about women's I'm health. I'm sorry, really? Because you're like a seagull or a disobedient dog. I offer a crumb and you try and knock me over to get to it. Sorry. All right. It, it, it's sort of a, a critical, incisive examination of the empirical cultural relationships between women and the, um, the things that they want. Uh, okay. Well, no, this sounds like a terrible idea. Keep coming. Okay, uh, yeah, we, we've developed a series of ideas that are uh, pr broadly inclusive of the American experience and the, um, the human condition. Um. You ever think about your old email addresses? They finally figured out how to actually touch a vagina. I'll, um, I'll burn this whole place down. I had a dream my dad peed on me once, and it was when he was out of the country and then he came back and it was awkward. It was awkward. I try and give good advice until I realize that I'm sober. I live in a sex den. Tonight, I have been given beer. You know what they say. Sex. In college, I used to bark like a dog during intercourse. It just felt better. It is really offensive. Oh, and then there's a hot tub in the motherfucking garage. That they find both challenging and, and rewarding. And dependencies on foreign and sexuality. Oil. Okay. Oil. Okay. Uh, no, 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 you know what? Be, I, I think I like it. I think I like it. As well. Um, yeah. I like inter intercourse for the first time, maybe it will be one of the things that they talk about. I think you'll find it's a pretty all-inclusive examination of the. No, it sounds doable. Of the feminine experience. It sounds doable. You know what we're gonna do? Um, here, I'll set you guys up with some equipment. You guys find the talent. Try and shoot it this week. Edit it over the weekend, and I'll see it on Monday. Yep. Yeah. Okay. okay. Monday. You yeah. shut up. I have a meeting with Felix Algrove, and we can talk it over with him then. He's the programming director at Kung TV, and we meet every year. I don't know, he likes this kind of weird stuff, so just try and do a good job, and we'll see where it goes. So that twice. All right. Yeah, yeah you like that? Yes. Yeah. All right, now get the fuck out, get to work. Call me Friday, we'll check in, see where we're at. Thanks, Sasha. Yeah. Okay. 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 Documentary about, about the postal service. <laughs> Why? What? <laughs> what? Okay, let me stop for a second. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
My husband caught me flapping like a chicken in the kitchen, but it's because I dry the Tupperware like that.